prior to the release of Thor Love and Thunder, we started to hear some details in regards to cut characters. These characters were of course played by Jeff Goldblum and Peter Dinklage, and then we learned due to a lawsuit that Lena Headey's character was cut as well. Now we know why. Now quite obviously the Grand Master has already appeared in one of the MCU films. Obviously Jeff Goldblum played the character in Thor Ragnarok and the Grand Master also appeared on Marvel's What If. So people were just kind of expecting that when we started to hear rumors that he would appear in Love and Thunder that it was a foregone conclusion. But then we learned he was cut. Peter Dinklage obviously played Itri, the giant dwarf. You guys know what I'm talking about from Infinity War. Hopefully you didn't forget him. He was supposed to be back. Um, he got cut as well. And then Lena Headey, who of course was in Game of Thrones and played Sarah Connor. She was supposed to have a role. It was cut, but we found this out not due to anything that's um, you know related to this film, but due to her being sued by her representatives. Well, thanks to Taika Waititi, the director of the film, who recently sat down and talked to Insider, he reveals what exactly happened. So first up, he says it's nothing related to the actors, no ill will towards any of them. It's just something that ended up on the cutting room floor. And he doesn't want to disclose too much on what would have happened, but he did say in a very interesting way that had that scene stayed in or had those scenes stayed in that they were included in, it would have kind of felt a little different and almost like it brings the entire thing to a screeching halt. And then he added that it was one of the funniest things and most intriguing things that he would have done. Some rumors have suggested that due to him revealing this and some other things that have been discovered, that maybe Gore would have showed up and tried to, uh, you know, kill a bunch of these characters, but that it could have featured that Grandmaster giant party slash, uh, you know, a bunch of people all getting together, doing whatever they will. Um, it's the Grandmaster, and certainly Zeus hints towards some activities. Let's put it that way. So maybe that would have factored in. But, um, you know, yeah, I'm kind of glad. I mean, if they would have just appeared in a scene that cuts away to gore showing to murder a bunch of people or gods slash extraterrestrials, and they literally play it as a joke as one of the funniest scenes around, I don't think this film needed additional scenes that feature over-the-top comedy. That's just my opinion on it. So I'm kind of glad it got cut and it wasn't anything truly important to the actual, uh, you know, future slash development of Thor and the franchise. <laughs>